One amazing couple here in Hamilton had an idea to build a garden to help those in need in our community. The program was started by Bill and Judy Wilcox. They're the co-founders of the organization and they currently sit on our board of directors. Um, they had the idea that food banks needed fresher food um, for the clients. Five years later, one garden has flourished into 15, providing fresh produce to 10 different local food banks. But it has become so much more. What started as this sort of this idea of growing fresh food for food banks and meal programs has really blossomed into so many more um, things such as community spaces, um, beautiful community spaces that community members can come together, meet each other, make new friends. The gardens have also become education spaces. Um, so not only do we have our volunteers teaching each other about gardening and sharing their skills or their recipes uh, for how to cook the produce um, or their skills for how to you know, deal with a certain pest or how to water um, or pull out and tackle certain weeds. And I think that there's something to be said for really fresh food, for people being able to engage uh, with that food and taste it and then know that what they're donating to other people is really delicious and really fresh. The food that's grown in this garden and was harvested today could be on somebody's plate this evening. Um, that's how quickly it goes through the food banks. People are very excited um, to have this fresh food. Over 200 volunteers keep the gardens going every season. Um, everybody is, is trained to teach other people um, how to grow the food, how to harvest it, how to water and weed. Um, and people who come to the garden for their first time are a little bit nervous and very shortly, a few weeks later, they're training the next new person to come in and to help. So um, what started as this sort of this idea of growing fresh food for food banks and meal programs has really blossomed into so many more um, things. We also have school groups that come in and learn about this. Children learn where food comes from. Um, they, they learn about um, giving back to the community. Um, they learn about being inclusive of, of other community members. Um, so there's, there's plenty of, of other ways that the gardens uh, serve the community. And I think that, that um, it's just continued to evolve. And that's what's really exciting about it. For Hamilton Life, I'm Linda Rourke.